today I'm going to be converting my hair from straight back to curly. It's been straight for, sorry, I just ran up some steps. Okay, it's, it's been straight for like, I want to say two weeks. Yeah, I think it's like two weeks today. I got it done right before Christmas. So I'm going to do like the full thing. I'm actually going to use shampoo. I never use shampoo. I just, I don't know. I just don't use it. I usually just go straight to the deep conditioner. If that's bad, let me know. If that's bad, let me know. I don't know. But um, but what I'm going to do is just basically spritz my hair with some water and then work my shampoo in through my roots. So I'm just going to massage it into my roots, which you'll see on both sides, and then wash it out and then go into my deep conditioner. So here I'm just taking um, one of my old shirts that I use as a towel to dry my hair. Just preparing for when the water drips down my neck. <laughs> um, I'm just mostly spraying the roots and the whole front part of my hair in the back. Just to make sure that when I do put the shampoo on, that it gets foamy and I'm able to massage it. Just seeing like, you know, all the dirt and stuff come out of it. I use Garnier Fructis Zyzep. Um, the color shield it was just the only thing that was convenient at the time like literally the only shampoo I had in the house so I just went ahead and used it I figured it can't hurt and I just used my fingertips to massage because I don't want to um, hinder my scalp from getting what it needs then okay so I then pin up the one side that I work on and start working on my next side. I'm basically repeating the same process with my roots incorporated and then of course add a shampoo and massage it through my hair. And I'm just scrubbing. Um, I just decided to put it on my scalp because when I was putting it to my scalp I didn't feel like I felt it so I just put the whole bottle to my scalp um, and just kept massaging that in. Okay and we're back um i have zero heat damage none at all and i knew i wouldn't but i just thought i'd say that um so now i'm going to deep condition I'm trying to figure out which one i'm going to use go ahead and use the meal organics um babasu oil mint deep conditioner it smells so good y'all like I promise you it smells so good um and I've used it before I like it it leaves my hair really soft um so what I do is I split it we'll split my hair into four sections usually but this time I just split it into two group that half and then I go ahead and split the other side into two more sections. Then I add about that much. I just, I don't know. I measure by what I feel my hair needs. So if I feel like my hair needs some more, I'm gonna put some more. I don't care if it seems like a lot, I'm gonna do what I think needs to be done. Um, and I just smooth it throughout my hair, really trying to get it all on my ends for sure. I'll As you can see, I have a little undercut. I just wanna make sure that's moisturized too and it doesn't go forgotten. Um, does that make sense? It doesn't go forgotten. It doesn't go without being noticed. <laughs> so I created this oil. It has coconut oil, castor oil, and meal organics mint oil, which I love so much. It smells so good. Um, it's really dry and cold where I am right now in the season of winter. <laughs> um, so I just felt like my hair needed that extra oomph with the oil. I applied it to my scalp and to my ends and i'm going to leave it on along with the deep conditioner when i put on my shower cap and apply the extra heat to it um just kind of as a hot oil treatment kind of not really but same concept so then i just do a simple twist um it doesn't have to be a flat twist just really basic um 
just to ensure that every part of my hair has the product on it. And a lot of times I just add a little bit extra to the ends just to make sure it's getting everything that it needs. And I just continue to repeat the same steps. So I do the deep conditioner, the oil, detangle, and then just twist. This is once I finished all over my head. Of course, I hit myself in the face with a twist. Um, I just put a shower cap over it and I was really lazy and did not feel like sitting under the dryer because I hate the dryer. So I just took a regular bag that around my house we use as trash bags. Um, I tied it in the back super tight. Well, I tried to get it as tight as possible, rolled it underneath, and then just tucked the access. And what that's gonna do is keep all of the heat and moisture in on my shower cap. And I usually just take this time and clean up the mess I already made. Um, <laughs> I leave it on for about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. And that's what it looks like after. It was really soft and conditioned and moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word. I take that back. It's really soft and nice. <laughs> um, so this is it fully washed. I use the Ozzy Moist conditioner. I didn't show that part, but um, that's my curl pattern. I guess I don't know what curl pattern it is. That's just what it is. <laughs> so I just check section, section <laughs> my hair off. I always work from the back to the front and with my uh, detangling I work from the roots up of course I'm doing the lock method so I'm doing leave-in oil and cream for my leave-in I'm going to use Nene's Nene's secret leave-in detangler for my oil I'm going to use the oil mixture I showed before and for my cream I'm going to use the Cantu coconut curling cream I'll list them in the description box because that Nene secret stuff I have yet to find in any store I've had to order it off of Amazon <laughs> Uh, and just to give it some extra definition, I'm using the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle. And I'll do that after I use my cream. So I just do it in order of the lock method. I'll do the leave-in first, a little bit of oil, work that from my ends up to my roots. And then I'll do the coconut curling cream. And then I'll finish it off with the gel curling souffle. Once I applied all of the products, that's when I start braiding. I just do a simple, I guess it would be a plait, braided to the scalp, I guess. So I would just do a simple plait all the way down. Um, and then once I get towards the end, I just wrap the ends around my finger, like creating a curling motion. And I just do that all over my head, basically. Got the water dripping all down my neck. <laughs> so this is the final result um i guess i missed the whole section of hair but i want my part to go this way so that's why i braided that this part over and then this down so when i take it out it'll be like that i'm just gonna walk around the house like this let it air dry and then tomorrow morning i'll unravel and show y'all how it looks So usually I use this lightweight organics oil to take down the braids, but I honestly could not find it. So I just went ahead and did it without the oil. Um, I just unraveled them 
basically how you would unravel anything else. I know you're supposed to be careful of frizz. I honestly don't have any problem, like any problems with frizz. I like frizz, so that's never been an issue for me. But then I clip up my hair so that I'm able to separate the braids even further and better without messing up the ones already done. And you know, I just continue to do that all over my entire head until I'm basically satisfied. Um, I still want it to be really defined, but I also don't want just big chumps, chunks <laughs> where you can see that I blatantly did a braid out. So that's what I strive for. This is where I come in with my comb. Of course, y'all would probably use a pick, but I couldn't find my pick either. So I just took my wide tooth comb and I basically did a fluffing motion at the roots. And then as I continued over my head, I did it. Um, I worked myself down. I even kind of split it up into sections just to focus more on certain parts. Um, I also do this trick where I extend my hair out and then fluff with the comb just to give it some length and some stretch also until you get to your desired length so this was the final outcome i really loved it my curls look super defined i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see your comments and questions that you have and tune in for my next one thanks so much for watching